I'm Michael Chow. I'm an associate professor in the Faculty of Business and Economics at the University of Hong Kong. My research focuses on the development of big data analytics and data mining algorithms and their applications in areas like businesses and governments. Big data is the use of data mining techniques um, to analyze the large amount of data that we can collect from different sources in order to derive useful insights. So that can be, for example, predicting customers' preferences or behaviors, or um, try to um, improve supply chain or logistics, or try to make better strategic decisions in business and also management. One example of the application of data mining techniques to the outside world is on blood donation data provided by the Hong Kong Red Cross Blood Transfusion Service. So they provided us with a lot of data of the past usage of blood donation records of where the donors live and where they make their donation. I need to have a university expert in helping us to do a, a large volume of data that is crucial for that person to look into data in the way in the academic side and also correlate with the population, town planning and our donor data to help us to locate a site that would be suitable in our future blood donation centre. When we started our project, our aim was to find a location where we can build a blood donation centre that can attract the largest number of donors and also we want to reduce the distance that donors have to travel when they make their donation. We do have one donation site in Sati but that is in the other part of the uh, peninsula. So we are expecting somewhere either Tun Moon, Yun Long or Tin Shui Wei are the place that we are looking for. We have analyzed the data, so we pointed to Yun Long, but Yun Long is still a very big district. Then we try to um, look at it at a finer level by analyzing also the data that we have for that district. And also we look at like what are the transportation available in Yunnan, for example, whether it should be closer to an MTR station or to a bus stop. This is a good example of how university colleagues can help the society to solve problems because we are mostly doing the operation and we do have data, we do have our idea, but we do have some support from other people to help us to think about is the data correct, how we can use the data to improve our service, and how we correlate the data with the real situation. Dr. Michael Charge project is not only to let the business community know what the big data is about, and using this blood donation as an example, he can use big data to make the blood donation more efficient in the society. It's not only transferring the knowledge, but in fact, he's helping to implement the project. I'm really excited to be here to see people coming here to make their donation. And also the numbers of donors exceeded what we have expected in our data analysis. So it's always good to see the research is not only theoretically built, but also be applied to the real world. Also it's benefiting the society. I think it's very important to have knowledge exchange with the community. I think without such types of projects, the community is not able to know whether they can use the knowledge to implement, to achieve their goal. And Dr. Michael Charles' project really helped them to reach the goal, and therefore they appreciate knowledge change much better. Big data analysis is a very hot topic nowadays in the business world, as well as for the government and also for organizations like NGOs or like the health sector. So I think this kind of techniques will be very useful for governments to decide what would be the best location to develop the next hospital or school and so on. In the future, I would like to um, improve my data mining projects by taking into account more real-world observations in person and see all the surroundings and the transportation around and so on.